Welcome to this video. In this video, we will do a 3D example of um, analyzing a particle that is connected to cables to find uh, tension in the cables and to find force uh, that is exerted by a tower to keep the, the cables tight. So the picture we have here is a schematic representation of a tower. It's 48 meters tall and it has three cables that are attached to the top and the cables are keeping it upright. I've labeled them cables A, B, and C. We'll assume we know the tension in cable A, which is 2,000 newtons, and our goal is to find the tension in cables B and C and to find F, where F is the force that the tower is applying upwards to the point where the cables are, are connected. Okay, so um, that's what F would be. Okay, so uh, this is primarily an example of how to solve problems in three dimensions. Uh, we're going to do this using vectors, and so it should be a lot of fun. Uh, to begin with, uh, we want to draw the free body diagram of a point that represents the top of the tower this would be the point where the cables are connected and the point where the tower's upward force is holding those cables taut. So um, let's draw our free body diagram. We have the point representing the top of the tower. We have a force uh, in the direction of cable A and the tension in this cable is 2,000 newtons. We have a force in the direction of cable C. We don't know its tension. We have a force in the direction of cable B. We don't know its tension. And then we also have the upward force exerted by the tower, and we don't know its magnitude. Okay, so our goal then is to use uh, static equilibrium to find out what these three unknown, uh, the, the two unknown tensions and the unknown magnitude of the force. And to do this, we will use the sum of the forces is equal to zero. That's the condition for static equilibrium for a point. Now, to represent these forces, we need to um, have a way of, uh, well, well, we need to represent them in terms of tensions and directions. So what we'll do is we'll first compute a relative vector from the point, the top of the tower to the point where each cable is anchored. And from that, we'll then get a unit vector in the direction of the cable, and that will allow us to solve the problem. So we'll begin by going from the top of the tower down to point A. In fact, we'll bring this up here. Okay, so we want to go from the top of the tower down to point A. And we'll do that. We'll define a relative vector from P, which is the name I've given for the top of the tower, to A. This is going to be uh, the vector from the origin to A minus the vector from the origin to P. Okay, and if you look at uh, where A is relative to the origin, here's the origin, uh, we have that the x component of A is minus 18 meters. So we'll write minus 18 times i hat. That's the unit vector in the x direction. And there are no other components of our A. Our P Oops, we want to subtract this. RP has no components in the x or z direction, has only a component in the y direction. And so uh, that component in the y direction is 48 meters. And since it's in the y direction, it's multiplied by j hat. Okay, so this again gives us the relative vector uh, pointing from P, this point here, down to A. And now we want to get a unit vector for this. 
which we'll just uh, define as lambda PA. And this will be uh, R PA divided by the magnitude of R PA. Okay, so R PA is minus 18 meters I hat minus 48 meters J hat divided by the magnitude of RPA is just the square root of minus 18 meters squared plus minus 48 meters squared. Okay, and um, you can work that out by a calculator or uh, you can work it out in an easier way using uh, you, you may have a calculator that computes unit vectors or uh, if you can if you're lazy like I am use Wolfram Alpha that just tells you the answer okay so we switch to Wolfram Alpha and we put in the vector that we want in this case uh, it is minus 18 meters in the I direction minus 48 meters in the J direction and 0 in the K direction. Just hit return and we get to the normalized vector. We ask for it in approximate form and it says then that our unit vector in the direction from the top of the tower down to point A is minus 0.351 I hat minus point nine three six j hat uh, plus zero k hat so let's go back and write this down so we can say then uh, where shall we write it down let's actually write it on the next window we can say that lambda hat p a is equal to minus point three five one I hat minus point nine three six J hat. Okay, so that gives us one direction vector. We still need lambda PB and lambda PC. I'm not going to actually compute them uh, directly. I'm just going to write down the answers that I got computing them. And of course, you'll want to check these answers to see if I did it right, because there is a good chance I didn't. Okay, so lambda hat PB is 0.233 I hat minus 0.933 J hat minus 0.272 K hat. And lambda hat PC. is equal to, uh, let's see, 0 0.236 I hat minus 0.943 J hat plus 0.236 K hat. Okay. And we can also write lambda F hat. This is just uh, J hat. So the unit vector in the direction of f is j. In fact, we probably don't even need to do this because we can just look at this and say, well, obviously, uh, the vector f is represented by the magnitude f times j hat. OK, now let's use the summation of forces that are equal to 0. And let's actually write out our forces in terms of our unit vectors and the unknown magnitudes that we have. So we have 2,000 newtons lambda hat p a plus t b lambda hat p b plus t c lambda hat p c plus f j hat is equal to zero okay and uh, so this is a vector equation. Uh, we can solve this in terms of the x, y, and z components. And that will give us three equations. We have three unknowns, tb, tc, and f. 
and that will be just exactly what we need. Um, so if we take 2,000 newtons, so we've got this guy here times lambda hat PA, we take 2,000 times each component of lambda hat PA, we have minus 702 newtons, this is in the i-hat direction, minus 1872 newtons in the j-hat direction. And now let's get TB, lambda hat PB. This will be plus TB times 0 0.233 i-hat plus TB minus 0.933 j-hat. Uh, whoops. Uh, here, let's rewrite this. We've kind of made a mess here. Uh, ignore that guy. Put the negative sign there. Minus TB 0.272 k-hat. Okay. TC times lambda hat PC we have then um, TC 0.236 i-hat minus TC 0.943 j-hat plus TC times 0.236 k-hat. And all of this, again, is equal to zero. So, sadly, I'm out of time. We'll have to wait for, uh, or you'll have to wait till part two to see how we actually go about solving this equation for uh, TB, TC, and F, which I forgot. Oh dear, that would have made things a real mess. So we'll put F in here. So we also have then a plus F J hat. Yeah, if I'd have left that out, that would have gotten, that would have been a real mess. Okay, so um, with that, I'll end this video and see you in part two.